Oh my god, guys. Are you ready to see something? Look at this cow calf. I need the chocolate strawberry cows left until I have all the different flavors. And this one is indeed a chocolate cow. Very nice. That took like a week to get that from getting my first one, which is the vanilla one. So after this, I only need strawberry and then I can complete a lot of archaeology mysteries and actually later on unlock the ripper demons, water fiends, all these super good ancient summoning things. But I uh, hope you guys will enjoy this video. If you do, leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see future content, but let's get into the video. Another dark side kill done, and I actually don't have a Nihil, so I'm actually using a Bunyip, but uh, I masqueraded it as one of my runecrafting pet, so no one knows unless they hold over it. But let's see what the loot is going to be. It is going to- Oh, that's a lot of techie. That's actually so nice. Let's bank all of that. And how much techie do we have now? Let's have a quick look at the currency thing. I need 15k right, and I have 6.5k. Actually, a second kill back to back, so let's see what the second loot is going to be. Even more techie, and actually, these Uncut Dragonstones are pretty much porters, so that's not too bad. As you see in the chat, I just hit 93 archaeology, so only two more levels until I can get Ancient Invention unlocked, which has been such a grind, and it's going to be nice to complete it in this video. Also, by the way, tomorrow we get our wishes, which is I'm going to probably use it on the five tries for any perks or any materials to use for Ancient Invention. It's going to be perfect timing when I hopefully get Ancient Invention around that time as well, and I get five tries on any components I want. There are some that cost like 60 million per attempt and you can get some insane perks from it. So I'm going to get 5 free tries from that, essentially saving like 300 mil in supplies. So that will be pretty dope to try out. I'm not sure if this is actually true, but I put in a strawberry scented elder candrin cow. And it actually produced a strawberry cow, which is the last one I need. I'm not sure if that's how it works, it's like a bigger chance to actually make the one that it's scented of, but... Regardless, I have the strawberry cow, which means that I have all the cows that I need to be able to complete the mystery. And then after that, I think I should have everything to be able to get the Reaper Demon slash Instant Summoning. This should be the last part of the mystery, and let's talk to the Gargoyle, that is uh, the Contract Class Mystery completed. And 1.4k Archaeology Experience, which is pretty low, I would say, but... Uh, it is done, and now we can actually complete the last mystery for the Ancient Summoning. Actually, a very easy mystery, this one. This is the end of Dagon Bai, which actually unlocks the Ancient Summoning. And I'm not sure if this is the one. I guess it is. I have to sign the pact with Dagon. Uh, cool animation, actually. And there we go. Now I can make the binding contracts, which is going to be so nice for PVMing. This system update is actually the wishes I was talking about earlier, as well as some events so that's going to be, according to the clanmates here at least, a four week long event leading up to God Wars Dungeon 3, so that is pretty nice. But um, this is how you make the binding contracts. I can only make five apparently, not sure why that is. Oh, it's two of each, that's why. I thought it was one of each, but let's create five of these. And then what you want to do is, if I want to get, for example, Water Fiends, which is what I'm going to go and get now, they actually have a chance to duplicate the materials you get while excavating. You have to just kill a Water Fiend, meanwhile having these in your bag. So I'm going to do that, just kill five Water Fiends, and that's pretty much it. You do it the same with the Reaper Demons, but they are, of course, a bit harder to kill, but uh, it's still very easy of a process to make these. So this is how it looks when this dies, one of these will just turn into the familiar. There we go. Water Fiend grants a 5% chance when training mining, fishing, woodcutting, divination or archaeology to duplicate the resource gained and stored within itself can carry up to 20 items. So that is pretty nice, you can get a lot of more materials meanwhile doing stuff. And I think it's the best familiar right now for me. When I get more binding contracts, I also make some Reaper Demons for future PVMing. So we're in after the update, and this is the Guardian's Wishes I was talking about. So if you click Activate, this is the one I'm going to be using. You have five tries, grants a gizmo shell that can be filled with any materials you've unlocked. It costs no material to do so. If you have access to Ancient Invention, this will grant an Ancient Gizmo Shell. So I'm going to use these when I'm at 95 Archaeology, but now let's check what the event actually is all about. Okay, this is very confusing. You are in this minigame now and you can like click on these characters and then you can move them around. 
but I have no idea what I'm actually supposed to do. I guess this is like tower defense. It's actually what it looks like because I can place these like around here and then maybe they attack when the enemies come in. So if I just click start now, let's see what actually happens. I guess there's been gonna be enemies that come maybe this way and attack these defenses and then these are the ones that's going to be in the way blocking. But I can't really see any enemies either. So, oh, here's an enemy maybe. This is so strange. I have no <laughs> idea what's actually going on. Oh, so here we go. Yeah, look, it attacks one of these that are trying to run through. And I guess that's pretty much it. I have to defend... I guess I have to defend the monolith that's over here. So maybe I should... Oh, I can't even go there. But I guess I can't let them through here. So I should just place these characters like this. I think this is all the characters you have as well. Just these three. So it definitely becomes a bit more intense, more enemies. I think this is a better position. Maybe I should move this one up here so it can be uh, doing a bit more damage. But I put Helvir here because if they get stacked up here, she does an AoE like this. The claws hits everything for a lot of damage. And uh, I think this is a pretty decent position. <laughs> these, these just hit them on the way and then Helvir finishes them off. So uh, let's see if this is going to be uh, good enough. I completed it and you get one hour of 10% uh, more experience, so I guess that's pretty nice. But uh, I assume that's pretty much everything that you get from this. Uh, maybe there's more battles, so you get more experience per time. Maybe it's like 20% the next time. But I, I actually, I could probably use this time, or at least the beginning of this time, to uh, uncover some artifacts. Because then I get 10% more experience from that. Uh, of course, plus 6% from my outfit, so let's just uh, equip this outfit and see how much experience we get from one artifact now. This is going to be pretty nice to get 10% more experience. So let's just see if this works with the buff. Let's uncover this one. This should give me 12.5k plus 6% plus 10% or so 16% more, which is 14.5k. So that definitely is affected by it, so I'm probably going to use this one hour to try to uncover as many artifacts as I can. And finally, I am actually about to get 95 archaeology, but that doesn't mean I can right away get ancient invention. I have to do a 40 minute mission pretty much, but that is now 95 archaeology. I pretty much grinded it for this for like, I think 12 days, archaeology every single day. And that is ancient invention blueprint. So I have all the, as you can see here, the torn blueprint fragments for the mystery and I have to start by getting an archaeology item and restore it and then after that I can actually start the mission or the mystery and then after that I have to send out a 40 minute mission on the uh, mission table and then after that I'm pretty much done. This is the item I had to get, the Stormguard Garigi or however you say that and I just have to add it to my tool belt and now I have to inspect this thing and I actually get to Howl's workshop now and what I have to do now is I have to study this bench right here that has a mystery sign on it. And when I do that, I have to send out a 40 minute mission and then I actually unlock this. And this is where you make the blueprints for the ancient invention. So now it's back to uh, start that mission. I'm actually doing a reaper assignment, meanwhile just waiting for that mission. And uh, of course, I get a signet. I don't need this at all, but uh, it's just something to put in my bank, I guess. Everything is finally done. And look at this, you need 300, but I have 410 of the torn blueprints to make the ancient gizmo blueprint. Making sure it's the right one, but this is definitely the one. And now we just study it. Yes, acquire blueprints. And now we can make ancient gizmos. Perfect. But actually before I start using my five free ones from the uh, gifts or wishes that we got. I actually want to get my invention up a bit. Because I actually have three extreme invention potions in the bank. I made them from player owned farm. But it has a higher chance to succeed on what perks you want. When you have a higher invention level. So first off. I actually have this augmented anima core body of Saros. Which gives the really really expensive components. And now that I have master work I don't really need this and it is over level 10 so I'm just going to disassemble this right away for some invention experience and we get four times the materials look at how many four of those super expensive components and armor gizmo we got that as well so we have a venom blood perk which is I, I guess I can put this on something I have been trying to keep up with the Reaper assignments as much as possible to be able to make that essence of finality and that is another Reaper assignment done 
And actually I'm wearing bandos doing Gregorovic and the reason why is because I augmented them, just put some uh, random perks on them. This one was actually pretty good, a Crackling 4 I think that is. And I'm going to just disassemble them at level 10 because I don't really need Bandos gear and I can get some nice components from it. But I overall have, let's see how many, 227 Reaper points, so I'm not that far off being able to buy a Hydrix. What I'm going to do now, and I've already actually started as you can see in my chat, is doing some ED3 trash farming just to get these items up and my weapon as well. And I'm going to change to ranged a bit later with some augmented items as well to get more invention experience. And I'll see you guys when I'm done. Wait, 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 hold on, hold, hold on a second now. Look at the chat, your luck of the dwarves shines brightly and you receive one blueberry special. I remember reading that if you get this message, you have been screwed over so hard because that is a missed roll on the Hazelmere Signet, which is like worth more than max cash. Give me just one sec, I need to look this up. Oh my god, look at this picture? No, indicates a failed 1 in 10 roll for the Signet. I had a 10% chance of getting it on that exact proc, but unfortunately not this time. I think I'm going to be done there, I have a 1 hour left of charge and look at that, I got 263,000 dungeoneering experience just from doing all these runs. But let's see how much loot we actually got from this because the reef relics are really good as I'll need quite a lot of precious components to make all these siphons I need to make to... Uh, I think I have to get 4 of them to uh, siphon all the items that I've uh, got to level 12. So let's see what we got. We got 18.7 million. And a lot of money in general is super good, like look at this, this is some insane amount of Alex. And uh, I'm going to actually, like, I'm going to bank everything now. And I'm going to have a look at how many precious components I have. I have four right now, so I can't even make one single siphon. But uh, let's just, uh, I I'm just going to disassemble all the reef relics that I got, except the one million worth ones. And we will see how many I got from that. Let's see now, I need 20 precious components. How many <laughs> jewelries will I have to grind? Uh, I have 9 now, so I'll have to get 11 of those through jewelry. That might take a while. Came up with the idea because I had like 100 crystal keys in the bank that I can just open all these and get a dragon stone for each one of them and then I'll just mine gold and make a bunch of dragon stone amulets and should be getting some decent components from that and if you didn't know it used to be the case that you had to actually get all these items in your inventory so you could only bring 10 keys at a time pretty much otherwise your inventory would just fill up too fast and you wouldn't be able to use all the keys but nowadays you just send everything to the bank so you can actually bring a pack yak and just do this all the time with all the keys got everything i needed and now we are about to get so much invention experience i got my four equipment siphons here for the items i'm going to put it down here i want to make sure i really don't disassemble them because that would be pretty awkward but let's just start with these siphons a 12 ascension crossbow 600k we're 97 now so let's see how far we can get with this the uh, Sirenic Leggings, the Weapon, like 600k per one of these, that's insane. And then now, Major, by the way, 99 Invention, pretty nice, another 99 skill. And now, we're going to disassemble all of these that are level 10. And we're going to get some nice components from this as well, so let's uh, disassemble this. Wait, we're gonna... Oh yeah, of course, we get the Gizmos back. That makes sense, no wasted gizmos here. Let's just keep going with all of these items. 100, and that might be this... I think I might get 101, let's see if I actually do. That's going to be pretty cool if I do. Uh, no, not quite, 82,000 experience off. Okay, so, but I will get that because I will drink an extreme invention potion, which I'm going to get from the bank now. This is going to be a long clip, unfortunately. Uh, but let's just get the extreme invention potions out and if I drink a potion now I can actually if I go here to discover I can discover a lot of things and This thing is for the essence of finality Which is going to give me a very nice necklace in the future and as you see I have more uh, extreme invention potions so I can actually take my time here to get a lot of experience. Oh My look at the experience you can get I have to get a perfect here Oh, got the perfect. That's 250,000 experience from one single event. Look at that. 256,000 experience and that is also 101 invention. 
Uh, I have 6.2 million experience here on the counter now. I'm actually going to discover all of these. Time Worn Components is another really good one. But uh, let's see how much experience we can get. And I'm going to use... I'm just going to save one sip, I think, to actually make those... Uh, the ancient gizmos, the five free tries that I have. But let's see how much experience we can get if I try to get perfect on as many of them as possible. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I actually learned now how this works and I could get all of them perfect in like 30 seconds per one. So I did only use one potion or three doses and look at this. I got 2.5 million invention experience, I actually reset the counter and we got 102 invention from that. So that is some awesome gains. So now that all that is done, I know some of you might actually recommend me to just train all the way to 120 before using these wishes. But um, I don't really mind that much. If I do a lot of God Wars 2, I will get a lot of the components anyways that I'm going to be using for free now. These ones, the Illujunken components. You get them from uh, disassembling stuff like these, the Anima Core items. But I got three now of these Gizmo shells. And what I'm going to be putting in in these is, I think it's like, I will have to look up exactly how you do this, but it is like, pretty much like this, and then three of those, I think. So, one more of the, where is it? The Illujunken one, there we go. So, this is pretty much what you want to do. You want to get the Aftershock 4 and Equilibrium 2. That, if you get that... That is the most insane weapon perk of all. If I could get one of them in these five tries, I'm going to be super happy about that. But just give me a second, I wanna look up that I'm doing this correctly. This is how it's supposed to look. Here we go. This is the build up. I don't know if it actually matters how they're placed. I guess it doesn't, but I had to drink the extreme invention potion anyways. So let's see what we can get the first try. Aftershock 4, Ruthless 1. Uh, pretty good, I would say, but uh, not the perfect one. Whenever you defeat an enemy, you gain damage boost per rank for 20 seconds. That's super good for Slayer, so I'm going to say Aftershock 4 in the first place is a very nice one. But uh, I'm going to keep doing this two more times. Oh, and duplicates. I mean, I, I take it. I, I absolutely take Aftershock 4. Any f Aftershock 4s are super good. The only worst ones, of course, would be to get the 3-1. Let's try. Oh my god, I got it. Aftershock 4, Equilibrium 2. This is a complete blaster, man. This is insane. What should I even put this on? Should I put this on my Ascension Crossbow or something for next? That could be crazy, man. Uh, I'm actually going to go with uh, two more. I, I want to get... Um, I'm going to just go for all the weapon gizmos because every single attempt that I do in the main game would be 60 mil worth of components. So this is some insane value that I'm getting right now. Uh, and I'm going to be going for just doing this and then like that. Putting in the... where are they? There we go. So two more tries here. And of course I want to get duplicates because I want to put it on more weapons. So let's see. Oh my god, dude. Two of them. Let's get a third one. Oh my god, oh. Imagine how crazy it would be. I have two of these now. These are worth literally 180 mil for the main game. So this is like 360 mil worth of components. We're uh, swimming in some good perks today. I think the first one I'm going to use is on my Noxious Staff because I do want to get into Telos and having that on the weapon is going to be very very nice. So now we have Aftershock 4 and Equilibrium 2 with Scavenger 2 on the weapon. Super good perks for this weapon. And the second one I think I'm going to be using on my Ascension Crossbow. So I'm just going to... Wait, can I actually put on all of them at the same time? Maybe that I can actually do that. Oh, I can't do that. So I do have to actually do this on this one as well. And then I can put on this insane perk on this weapon as well. And I will try to get Scavenger on them as well. I tried really hard to get Crackling 4 and Relentless 5 on my chest. But I actually only managed to get singles all the time. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to augment, remove... Uh, this one I guess and uh, then I'm just going to put in well I have to use actually both of them on my uh, on my masterwork item and then just put in these separately so I get both of them regardless but I just get one perk instead but uh, I think that's going to be decent enough 
The legs already have enhanced devoted or devoted three, I guess, but uh, making the enhanced version is kind of hard right now. I don't have the components for it. Impatient three is also pretty decent. So the legs, I'm just going to keep them as is. But uh, these augmented virtus robe legs, I'm going to put both of these perks on both crackling four and the relentless five. I think these are going to be good enough for now. If you have some advice for me on perks, I'm not the best. So I would gladly read some advice in the comment section. I know perks might not be the most interesting part, but uh, I feel like it's kind of important as I'm going to be PVMing a lot to show you guys what I'm putting on my weapons. I actually just put precise 6 on my offhand because I already have equilibrium on my main hand now with the aftershock, so I think precise 6 is pretty good. But what are the plans for my account now? Well, it is to get first PVM ready for doing a lot of Helivir because I want to get the Crest of Saren to replace my Garb of Subjugation tier 70 Mage Chest to a tier 80 magic power armor chest and when I do have that I'm going straight into learning Telos. Last time I did Telos was actually the first week of release, since then I have not done Telos at all so it's going to have to be a learning process but at least having full tier 80 power armor and then a tier 90 noxious staff with a really good invention perks is going to be a good help as well as a ripper demon of course or a pack yak to begin with but what i'm doing now is just getting ready with supplies i had 30 minutes of charge left so i'm getting probably like 100 divine charge i have a lot of charge to use and i actually made 40 overloads six dose from having like one left so overloads I'm good for 20 hours and divine charge I probably will be good for 20 hours when I get a bit more than 100 of these. So that's going to be for the next video. Next video I will hopefully get a crest of Saren. That is the goal and maybe get some Telos in as well. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did please leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff if you want, if you want to see the future content uploads. You can also cl click any of the videos on the screen right now if you want to see a video right away. Until next time guys, take care.